Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Shipyard Champions for Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Today we're taking down a fairly sizable Chinese battle group. We have to take down two battleships, two battle cruisers, two heavies, two, uh, four lights, and eight DDs. Be ready for trouble. Because trouble is brewing off the coast of Africa, says Panzer Graf, and you need to assemble a task force to deal with it. However, the budget is tight, and the government wants you to be as cost-effective as possible. China is also rather far away, so your ships will need sufficient operational range. To make matters worse, submarines have been reported along your route there, so your task force will need enough escorts to get there in one piece. Now, he's provided shared ship designs for both the Naval Arms Race mod and the vanilla one. I'm currently using vanilla. Now, the task force requirement. Your max combined budget for all ships is 4 billion if you're playing vanilla. This is roughly the combined cost of enemy task force. Okay, your ships, your task force must have at least one capital ship, an escort of at least two cruisers, and four TDs. Your ships must have at least 20,000 kilometers operational range, but that is not required for destroyers. You're free to add more ships of any type to your task force, as long as you don't exceed the total budget. I'm picking Japan for this one. I'm picking Japan because of long-range accuracy bonuses. I think that'll help. If I want to make these things as efficient as possible, I'm going to use the Japanese, let's say, sniper-esque designs. So very long barrels, as long as I can make them. And make sure that these ships do um, as much damage at range as possible. Of course, against DDs, that's going to be impossible. CLs, slightly more easy, but still, um, it's going to be tricky. In order to keep the battle for the, the task force cheap, I'll bring a couple of light cruisers, but just because I have to, and same for the DDs. So, time to design a whole bunch of warships. Starting with the uh, the most crappy ones, really. I'm going to use these as scouts and nothing else. I'm going to keep them as cheap as possible. Right now, they're already costing me 9.8 million. Uh, they're going to have just a tower. Oh, actually, uh, reduce the beam, re reduce the draft. Tiny, tiny ship. This is to keep their own detectability low. Their uh, detectability needs to be as low as possible. So they're going to be a forward scout, a forward observation platform, if you will. They're going to have uh, just a torpedo launcher, mostly because they have to have one. And outside of that, not much. Does this give me more spotting range? No, it does not. Okay, standard tower, toss in a funnel, boom, ship done. Do we miss anything? Yeah, we miss a gun. So here's your gun. Perfect. 7.2 million for a DD. It is racing around at 30 knots, which should make it a bit cheaper and boost the engine efficiency. Outside of that, pitch and roll, pretty damn awful, but I don't really care. Because it's supposed to be cheap. I can give it to gear turbines, but there we go. It's uh, going to cost you another pretty penny. So we have four of these scouts. If they get hit, they die. It is really that straightforward. If they get hit, they die. They don't have any kind of defenses. They don't really have any kind of offensive measures either outside of one single torpedo launcher. That should be pretty easy to dodge. I could give them acoustics, I guess. Fairly cheap upgrade. And with that, they'll be able to do a little bit of defending against torpedoes. As for spotting range, I believe spotting range doesn't get increased by that, but maybe by rangefinder? Nope. Okay, so that's the DD. Cheap as chips move on to the light cruiser. This is going to be a challenge to build. Because this needs to have that operational range of 20,000 kilometers. I'm thinking something with a, a good hull form, like the light cruiser 3. 79, 41, 38, 70. I'm picking a good hull form, because the better the hull form is going to be, the better the ship is going to slide through the water. Uh, this thing is potentially even sleeker, but this supposedly has a better hull form. You're generally going to find that these things are very bad firing platforms. The semi armored Cruiser 3 has less hull form, but far more stability. And as such, makes for a better gunboat. These things, however, not great. Now, they're going to be packed to the gills with guns, and the rest is probably going to be fuel tanks. So this is going to be a really weird ship to have. Let's give them gear turbines. Does that give anything for... Yeah, it gives me 7.5% more fuel stowage. 
Uh, I'll take four spoilers and oil. These are going to be fighters. So these will take out the enemy smaller ships. We got 13 and a half long range accuracy, which for a light cruiser is uh, impressive, but I think long range accuracy is not what we're going for. Base accuracy is more important. Eight and a half, eight. This weighs 255, this weighs 310. This is far more expensive. Probably because of comms range. Power spotting is also a lot better. Okay, fine. I'll bite the bullet. Can I put that here? Yeah. Don't get distracted by the game telling you, oh, I need to put this over here. No, you don't. Just hold control and drag it over there. Okay. Rear tower. Um, no, funnels first. This thing has a rangefinder, which gives me more aiming speed. Could be useful. One and a half, two, and two and a half. Put one there. 13, five. 1609, 20,000. Boom. Okay. We're taking down destroyers and light cruisers, ideally, with this ship. So, a couple of yeah, seven inches are not really going to be that good when it comes to dealing with small ships. They might aid me in dealing with CLs, maybe CAs even. Hmm. Can we just put up a, a withering barrage of five inch guns? Because this reel is in 8 seconds, 10 seconds, 14 seconds. So your damage and your pen are going to be less on the 5-incher, but the 7-incher reloads in almost twice the time. I probably won't hit anything out of 5,000 meters anyway. So 3.8, uh, 2.3. Oh, crap. Okay, fine. We're going to go middle ground with 6-incher. Let's see if I can use this. And just install the six inches in a balcony like that. Okay, can I can I put one here? Maybe. You can even put them over there. Look at the roll. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> roll and pitch. My man, that's a lot. Oh crap. Uh, fine, just, we're just going to make them slower. And that's going to increase the operational range as well. Should also reduce the price on the ship a bit. If I'm going to go down to 25 knots, that saves you another 2 million. It's it's an improvement. Um, give me barbette armor, give me hull armor, citadel, anti-flood, standard bulkheads, reinforced bulkheads. Auxiliary engine is nice if you want to keep these things alive. It does make the price go up. Price go up is not necessarily great. 50 million. We barely put a couple of guns on this thing. Acoustics, yes. Coincidence rangefinder. And... Can we copy this setup towards the stern? One there, one there, one there. Oh my, that pitch. That pitch. Um, put all the armor on the main deck. That brings the pitch down. Put all the armor on the main belt. That brings the pitch down even more. And that's about <laughs> all I can do for the pitch. Whoops. Oh, a secondary tower is needed. Ah, uh, yes. Fine. There. Some parts are badly placed. What, you mean in the code of the game? Sorry. <clears throat> um... This is going to do okay against most cruisers. How well it's going to do against destroyers, I rather doubt. Flash chance, 1.2. Pen chance is pretty bad. <clears throat> mm. Better semi-ballistics. Bigger barrels? Can I turn them into sub-sevens? No. We're going to turn them into six and a halves with longer barrels. 12% longer barrel. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. There you go. Okay. Okay. So, that is quite a lot of firepower towards the, the bow. I don't know how the bridge is going to really do a lot of navigating because it seems like they can't really see over the turret spam. But whatever. It's going to work. Secondary guns, three inches. Is, is 
that it? Because that's not a lot. There we go. Now you're catching on. Um, that might help fighting DDs. The problem is they are rather fragile. And that kind of translates into uh, get looked at, get fucked. If they think take a hit, they blow up. There is no middle ground. That's just how bad it's going to be. Hmm. Electric steering, yeah, 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 yeah. If I give them better crews, we're going up to 115 million. That's fine. I'll accept that. I can even take the range down a bit now. Can I, I remove a funnel? Yes. Huh. If I remove a funnel, I can condense the ship a little bit. Can we go to 26? No. It's too much. Okay, I guess this is what we're going to run with. Uh, so 114 million, let's say 115 million in total. So we're starting to rack up the prices. And now we're going to go battleships. Now I've done the math. I have spent $256,810,660 on my fleet so far. If I can build like two battleships, um, ideally cheaply, I should be able to make, I don't know, like two of them for 500 million a pop. It might might be a bit optimistic, but that's what I'm going to try and go for. Let's go for the gear turbines and of course have the oil and the forced boilers. I'm already at nine and a half kilometers, or sorry, nine and a half thousand kilometers. Let's make them slow, 20 knots. And I can make them bigger, but bigger is very expensive. What's the smallest I can turn these things into? That's not even so bad. It's not even so bad. If we throw out a lot of 13-inch Mark III shells, we should be able to just clean out those battleships. Wow, there's exactly one spot where that'll fit. Rear tower. It's going to be a very... How should I put this? A very condensed ship, I guess is the right term. Funnel complex. 77 funnel cap. That's quite a lot. I am close to where I need to be. Can I get them to 19 knots? Just boost the engine efficiency by bringing the engine or making the engine smaller? No. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm already at 100. Uh, sorry, 300% engine efficiency. That kind of explains it. Funnel sit. Okay, uh, very condensed superstructure. Now then, can I do this with an induced? Yeah. Does that save me a lot of money? Four million. Four million might make a difference. Better armor. Better survivability. Citadels, anti-flutters, reinforced bulkies. Anti-torp would be beneficial. Oops, there goes the budget. There goes the budget. Stereoscopic rangefinders, hydrophones... There. Time for the guns. As you might be able to tell, the $500 million requirement has gone right out of the window. Okay, I can fit six of these guns. I'm going to first set them up the way I want, which is 20% longer barrel length. We're going for plunging fire, so let's go standard shells. That ought to be sufficient to plunge through mo- well... Plunge through most of the decks is what I was going to say, but... We're not quite getting the pen that I want. Oh, hold on. It's because I'm targeting 120%, isn't it? Uh, general. Yes. Okay, so that makes a difference. Hmm. Capitalistic one. Now you can pretty much not pen a whole lot. 1.2 inches at 20,000 meters. 1.3. Congratulations. That is still shit. That is really shit, in fact. Why is it so bad? I mean, it's going to be worse if I use semi-ballistic shells. It's half an inch. But it will always do damage. Because that's just what these things do. They also do more... Yeah, they even got a fire chance in there. 
I guess I could rake them with HE. It could be the overwhelming fire spam again. It's just not a, a very pretty way to win. Oh, come on. You know you want to fit. I want you to fit. Okay, this can spin freely. Ship is overweight. That is not acceptable. What is making this thing so heavy? Is it all the fuel? Really? That would be bad. Or did the AI in its infinite wisdom put a whole lot of armor onto it? Yeah. <laughs> it did. <laughs> put a whole lot of armor onto it. 13 inch main belt. Um, I don't know. Maybe a 5 inch main deck to reduce the pitch. 1 inch fore deck, 1 inch aft deck. 3, 3. Wow, this thing is still way overweight. Reduced anti torp 1. Increased aux 1. 19 knots? That barely saves any. Where am I going to save weight? Remove the double hull. There we go. So I can throw out 12 shells. I got no secondaries. This is going to be pretty problematic. Okay. What if I make them bigger? Like this? Yes, it's going to be more expensive. Vastly more expensive. Because I want to add another gun. Maybe two. So we're going to be cruising towards that $1 billion mark. Okay, I don't want to do that. Let's condense the thing a bit. Oh, right, you can't because the main tower is... Very specific about where it does and does not fit. Lovely. What if... I condense the <coughs> citadel? Because right now my citadel goes all the way back here. What if I do it different? What if I put a barbette here? And drag this turret over there? Then my citadel just gets smaller. <coughs> that could work. Push this one forward a bit. The problem is forward weight offset. What about the alternative? Put everything back. Oh. This main tower is being so annoying. Where am I going to use this weight? Because I just had a couple of hundred tons left. And now I don't. Seven and a half inch four offset is going to be very tricky to get rid of. Five three. At least the pitch is decent now. Yeah, can we put some secondary guns on it? Something reasonable. Eight inch mark two. I don't know. Five inch mark three. Keep the baddies off of me. And we're three hundred tons overweight again. Reduce the barbette flash fire protection. Flash fires 5%, 4%, it's a little heavy on the armor, I think. Okay, fine, reduce it to 12 inch. It's going to be a sniper. Um, the moment that this thing starts getting into close conflict, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. Like, I'll probably not be able to survive that. At long range, however, I do feel like I can do a lot of damage with these guns. A lot of damage. Okay. Is this what I'm willing to accept? It's going to be about, let's say, 710 million a pop. So if I add everything up, it's going to be 1,676 million, which is about half of the budget. It's about half. It's a little over. But it means that I do get additional points for not using my budget. And you get 10, you get one point per 10% budget that you reduce your budget by. Um, I'm reducing my budget by, let's say, 40%. And 
I cannot make it to 50%, so I can go up to 1800, if I'm not mistaken. Which means that these ships can get a little more expensive. By about 125 million. So if I go to 28,500, gives me more of a ship. I can add more armor. I'm also going to give her more firepower. Whoops, standard ratio, please. Heavy shells, increased complement. I'm now looking at 769. Now this should work because according to my math, I can go up to 772 million per battleship. And now it's 769. So I can now add armor back in. Whoa, not like that though. That's a lot. These things cost you a million a pop. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna give her 13 inches of armor. Like 12, eight. Yeah, 12, nine, here. I think this is pretty much where I'm going to stop with modifying the design. Because with this, we should have enough firepower. We should have enough armor. Whether this will work? I don't know. Let's find out. Time to fight. Let's see if we can spot these things using our uh, fairly awful destroyers. Enemy to the north. That means they're behind me. Isn't that lovely? Okay. Soryu and Akitsu. Currently... Not even trying to target, so they're probably out of range. Yes, they're way, way out of range. So, show me, what are you? You got range. Okay, yeah, that's 13 and a half inch guns. Okay. What, and you hit me as well? What the hell, dude? Like, we just started. That is scary. The fact that they can already hit me. That was not supposed to be happening. Move. Alright, I want you gentlemen to follow the battleships in. Jesus, those things are very, very accurate. Scary very accurate. I need to get to 21 and a half kilometers. So just about here. We're going to send our shells just shy of orbital in order to try and land some hits. Uh, sorry, you guys were following. You guys were battle lining, but you're battle lining the wrong way. Uh, go, uh, I don't know, follow the battleships up until the point where I need you. Now, cruise speed for these things is 12 knots. Cruise speed gives you nice uh, bonuses, but it also means that you're going to be working with a very easy target. I.e. I am the easy target. Holy moly. Holy moly, that's a lot of ships. Target this. That's a CA. Oh, and that's a BB. Target the BB. They did just lose sight of my battleships. I think they kind of messed themselves over with their own smokescreen. No, we're not firing armor piercing, we're firing high explosive. Whoopsie! Hello, DD. You got in the way, my friend. That's on you. We're getting a 3% chance to hit? This is an expert crew? We're getting a 3% chance to hit? There we go, 8%. Ow. Come on, then. Come on. Put them full of holes. They're firing HE at me. I had just about one shell. There we go. 48% chance to hit. Now you're catching on to what exactly I want you to do. CLs need to keep these light things at range. the hell? Where's my accuracy gone? 
These smoke screens are causing so much interference. There's the half dead DD. Yikes, that did a lot of damage. Ooh boy, sorry, it was also flooding. Come on. That's it. That's what I wanted you to do. Strike back at them. Lash out. Ooh, there goes the DD. You're gone. There you go. More flooding. Zen Yuan. 793 million. That is very comparable to my own. Yeah. 779? 793. I'm cheaper than their ships. Oh boy. We got company. What's your range, friend? Seven kilometers. Thankfully, it looks like the CLs are on point. And crippling the DD. But it just launched at a battleship. Increase the flank. Crap. Here's the torps. Kitsu, turn. And increase the flank. We're gonna have to squeeze between those torps right there. So are you, if you turn a little bit, you should be fine. Oh, a couple of torpedoes blew up. Only a few of them left now. Where's the rest of the DD screen? There. Smoke. These guys are getting far too close. What? No! Good lord, dude. Target this. Don't worry about the DD. The battleship will probably have killed you twice over before the DD really becomes a threat. Wolu just launched against most likely Kashiwara. Yeah. DDs, turn around. Slow down. We're gonna hunt down these guys. Zen 1 has taken a bunch of damage. It's not too bad. Okay, we're in the clear. Bring the battleships back together. Slow them back down. Present a stable firing platform. Please don't all rush into the torpedoes. I think we're good. But... Yeah, we're good. Okay, Kashiwara. Join the other CL. <coughs> Eliminate the DDs that are getting far too close. This thing just launched against the DDs. Sorry, against the CL. Again. Stop shooting the damn destroyer! I hate the mechanic where the game goes, Oh, we spotted something new. Let's shoot it. No. Let's not. Because it just isn't a target. It's not a threat. I mean, sure, a DD is a threat. Yes, but not really under these circumstances. There's the torpedoes passing harmlessly. Perfect. I keep losing sight, though. Nice torpedoes, dude. Please, finish this thing. Because they're halfway through their reload. You can't target the battleships because they're too far. Okay. <clears throat> Shoot what you can kill. We can kill this destroyer. Well. You'd think so. There we go. First kill. Next up. These two DDs that are still very much angling to try and get a torpedo salvo off. They're both, however, out of torpedoes. They're reloading. The 
Okay, we're going to increase speed again. I need to get closer to these ships. <clears throat> At this rate, it's not going to work. Over here, we got the battleship. We got plenty of shells. They won't run out of shells anytime soon. And they got a very good chance to hit me as well. These things are proving very tricky to hit. Push in. Halfway through reload, three quarters through reload. What kind of torps you got? Standards. They're not fast. Fast torps would have different stats. Okay. Um, put yourself in a screening position around the BB so that I can smoke if I so desire. You guys smoke yourself up. I know it's going to beat my accuracy right back down into the ground, but I'm willing to accept that. Because I feel that it's the safest chance to take out these DDs before they reload and become a big threat. Although, this guy is about to become a threat once again. I think you just lost your torpedoes? Yeah, torpedoes destroyed. Okay, prioritize the Huolu. Don't want these torpedoes coming anywhere close. You're targeting the battleship. Ah, yes. That thing got messed up. Buy a 13 inch from the battleship. DD dead. Okay, target this. Wolu just launched against the battleship. Uh, you're not the only one. Oh, damn it. This is going to hit. Boink. Oh, this is going to be a double hit. Dud. One dodged. Very close. Very, very, very close. Okay, you gentlemen, take out this DD. Because it looks like they're up to no good. Sorry, he was taking a ton of damage and is most likely largely combat ineffective at this point. Come on, kill it. Thank you. It's 3DD's gone. Now you chase down the last one. Damn it, we still can't see any big ships. All right, chase down the Huolu. These are sort of screening. We still got plenty of AP. Le no, HE left. That's fine. HE could be useful to try and burn down those bigger ships. Pen, partial pen. Destroy the main gun. Soryu is in a very poor state. I think I might have cheapened out on my ships too much here. I'm taking way too much fire. And if Soryu dies, which is just a matter of time, then <clears throat> Akitsu is going to have to deal loads and loads and loads of damage all by itself. And my DPS just gets cut in half. At least when it comes to the big guns. Okay, so my CLs are now scouts. And Soryu is, well, alive for all intents and purposes, but not for very long, I'm afraid. CLs are coming under fire. Smoke yourself up. Use HE. Oh. If this is where the BBs and the BCs are, this is where a CA or a CL is hiding. Any chance you got crowned quarters? Nope. You? Nope. It's time to crew quarters. Lovely. I did, I did hit something over there. Judging by the damage, I'm assuming that I hit a destroyer. Yeah, kind of as expected. Sorry, is listing badly to starboard. Unable to fire. She's not dead. She is just ineffective. Oh. 
the D got fucked over. What kind of tricks can I pull out of the bag? What kind of comebacks can I make here? These guys might be useful, zipping around at about 25 knots, using a smoke screen every once in a while, and trying to deal damage, maybe extensive fire over on those ships. Reel of 12 seconds, I have six guns, and that's not counting the wing turrets. Uh, maybe we have options here with the, the, the CLs. I'm very concerned that Akitsu is now going to take a lot of fire. Ow. Which means damage and stability, which means less damage output. Turn. Minute and five, we're going to be able to smoke up again. 50 seconds. Jesus. Or not. Or not. Smoke. And we can't see anything. Ah, <sighs> fine. <clears throat> DDs. Go try and scout. We need intel. Okay, status on the enemy fleet. They have a lot of firepower. They have a lot of health. The only ship that has taken some damage is the Zen 1. But my chances of actually eliminating that ship I find to be negligible. As for this battleship here, there's not a chance in hell that I'll pen it. It's really well protected. 130% armor quality. Good superstructure everywhere. This is basically how I would design a ship. That's what you're looking at. Ugh. It's not a dead cruiser. Yeah, this is not going to end well. Target the Zen 1. Just to focus on something that we might be able to, I don't know, flood to death. Somehow kill. But I... Really, I've kind of given up at this point. Because chances of actually taking down these targets are extremely limited. Extremely, extremely limited. I guess I should have gone for like 10, maybe 20% less budget than normal. And just made this ship a heck of a lot bigger with more guns. Or just add a whole other battleship. Maybe that would have worked. But trying to get too hungry to get all these extra points, as I did now, that does not work. Damage and stability, 50%. Chance to hit, none. Chance to pen the battlecruiser, just about none. Only a superstructure can get penned. Ugh. Okay. Increase the flank speed. And now I'm going to sacrifice more accuracy there. But all these guys are turning one direction. I'm going to try and sort of get behind them. Smoke. That must be the heavy cruiser. I guess today is just not my day. So be it. Something came out of the smoke there. Might have been a CL. Yeah, definitely a CL. What are you targeting? Zin 1. 57%? No. You got a 57% chance to hit me. Very different. I have a 4% chance to hit you. And you're still trying to hit the battle cruiser. Go for the Zen 1. This is a much bigger target. And I'm flooding. It's a much bigger target. Hold on a sec. Ow. These guys are running a little low on ammo. Destroying my main tower is going to do all sorts of marvels for my accuracy. Oh. It's actually... Oh, sorry. It's the main tower. There we go. Destroyed their secondary tower. Can I wait out the amount of ammo that they have left? 
Would that work? Because these guys also don't have a whole lot of ammo left. If I can keep the Akitsu alive and just let these guys waste their ammo, they're going to be forced to go into sh much, much, much shorter ranges to try with the battle cruisers use their 11 inch and then their 2 inch. And the battleships, 6 inch. I got 192 rounds left. Maybe this will work. After a long non recording time, um, the battleship plan to let these guys run out of ammo is kind of working. The Hez over here only has 78 shells left. That's not a whole lot. After that, she's a huge destroyer with a lot of armor. Um, and problem, well, the problem is the Akitsu just took a massive amount of damage. Dead in the water, one engine out, flooding. This is it for the ship. This is it. So, uh, the plan just flat out didn't work. My savings got too extensive. I did 58k damage, which is a skewed number because I attacked a bunch of DDs. They got 91k. Again, kind of a skewed number. But if you look at the health on their battleships uh, and their battle cruisers, uh, this was a bad attempt. Complete failure on my part. Hope you guys enjoyed it, though, at my expense. <laughs> and I'll see you soon for the next challenge.